All right, my friends, in this video, we're going to walk through how to create your collections in your Shopify store. And in particular, we're going to talk about specifically how to group products together by things called tags or having them automatically added to specific tags or collection based on rules. We're going to actually show you how to create the collection in a really easy way. Talk about navigation and the menu. So let's dive into it. So if you're in your Shopify store, you go to collections on the menu over here, we're going to click create collection. So I'm going to click create three collections really quickly just to use as examples. So compostable dog poo bags. I'm going to create bio biodegradable poop bags. And I'm going to create dog poop bag holders. Okay. So if you want to just do it really quickly, that's how you would create a collection. It's super easy, but within each collection, you know, you want to add information because this information uh, not only tells the search engine what you sell, but it's good for the customer. So when someone opens up a collection page on a website, there's a little bit of information. So I'm going to add like a couple sentences here, nothing crazy. So I'm going to put, um, our compostable dog poop bags are 100% earth friendly and made of cornstarch. Pick between two super fun and bright colors. Um, and so, you know, ideally you would have maybe a couple sentences here if, if you need to for collection pages. You're just kind of setting the tone for what the product is. You don't have to kind of go crazy here, but collection pages are actually super important for SEO, search engine optimization. They really tell Google and the search engine what your website is all about. So beyond the homepage, collection pages are actually some of the most important. So I'm not going to go through SEO too much on here, but for example, putting keywords in your description would be really important. And then two, coming down here and adjusting your search engine listing to optimize for SEO. So again, I'm not going to kind of go into SEO here because this is a collections video, but I just want to mention that as well. So for now, um, you put a description and then you want to add an image of your collection. So again, this is compostable dog poop bag. So I would add a picture of a compostable poop bag, you know, and then just a, a tip. You want to always make sure your collection images are the exact same because when someone clicks on something and it opens up all of your collections, you want it to look really cohesive and consistent. So rule of thumb you can never go wrong with 600 by 600 pixels for collection pages. So I'm going to just copy this in case I want to use it for a different description. So we have three, uh, sorry, we have three collections here. And again, I'm not filling in any information. I'm just putting the collection stuff. So then we're going to go over to products. And so I've already added in six different products here. <clears throat> So there are two ways to basically get your products from here into your collections, okay? So I'm going to show you the easy way and then a, a way that's a little bit more complex, to be honest with you. Um, for someone who is just starting out here, I think the easiest thing to do is have it... Hold on one sec. Okay, so I'm going to keep this easy and simple for you. So you go to your product page and you go into a product. Or if you know, okay, all these products are going to go to a specific collection. So I'm going to click on my compostable poop bag, the pink one, and the purple one. So these are my compostable ones. I'm going to come over here to the three dots. And I'm going to go down to add to collection. And I'm going to click compostable dog poop bags. Super easy, right? Then I'm going to go to the biodegradable poop bag because I haven't assigned that to a collection yet. I'm going to click down here on collections and I'm going to click biodegradable 
dog poop bags. And that's pretty much it. Those are the two main ways to get products sorted or added into collections. There are other ways that sometimes um, Shopify is sometimes funny. Like, for example, when I add, hold on, dog poop bag holder. So when I come here, sometimes when you create collections, you get something down here that will say, do you want to add products manually or do you want to add them based on an automation? And for some reason, it's not showing up in here. So maybe it's because my store isn't live. I don't know. But essentially what you can do if you want automated, if you want your products to automatically show up in collections, what you want to do is you want to go to a product and you basically want to create a tag. So I'm going to, um, sorry, I'm going to go to the dog poop bag dispenser. And I'm going to add a tag called holder. And I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to go to my collection and see if anything shows up. So dog poop bag holder. Okay. So it's not showing up. So essentially what, what it would say, it, it would offer you the choice of creating a rule and it would say something like product tag is equal to and then you can put the word holder and save it. And so anytime you add a tag in your products that says holder, it'll automatically add those to that collection. So for some reason, it's not showing it right here. And that's fine because the manual way is also just as easy. But that's also an option as well. Okay, so we got our products in here. Um, I've assigned them manually or with a tag. And now what we want to do is we want to, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to open up the menu and navigation for you. Okay, so you go down to your online store and you go down to navigation. So this is where we're going to create our menus, which is super fun. So it gives you like regular ones here, but I'm actually going to create my own menu just to show you how to do that. So 2024 menu header. And then you want to click add menu item. So again, because I don't have a lot of stuff right now, there's not much to add in, but I'm just going to go with what we have. I'm going to put, um, sorry, I'm going to put compostable poop bags. I'm going to click collections and I'm going to put compostable poop bags. Then I'm going to go and do biodegradable dog poop bags. I'm going to click collection. And I'm going to do that. So see how you can also add tags. So this is really important for like filtering, but I'm not going to cover that for this video. I'm going to come over here. Poop bag accessories. And I'm going to put dog poop bag holder. And then I'm going to put shop all. I'm going to click collections and I'm going to click all collections. So this is again, this is why I was telling you earlier on your collections pages, make sure that you have collections that show up in a really organized way because you could do something like this. And if we go back here, you can kind of play around and just see what your options are. But for this, I'm actually going to put shop all and I'm going to do all products. So it's really good to have something where people can browse all of your stuff. But if you're a really large shop, like you have a, lot, a large catalog, you want to, you want to break this down here. So think of your, think of when you go to Target, you walk into Target and we have the women's section, the kids section, the men's section, we have food and beverage, we have the travel section, we have computer stuff like technology. It's super easy to find stuff. It's, it's idiot proof. And you want to do that on your website. So we want to get rid of like cutesy language, cutesy collection names. People don't know what that means. So when you come to a website like this, where we're looking for dog poop bags, you can see here that they're broken down into very clear categories, compostable poop bags, biodegradable poop bags, poop bag accessories. So this could be a little bit more specific, like dog poop bag holders, versus dog poop bag dispensers, but I'm just going to put poop bag accessories for now just to keep it simplified. Um, you don't want to put things like 
Karen's collection because no one knows what the hell Karen means, right? So keep things really, really, really clear. So, so I'm going to save this and then I'm going to show you how to do what's called a nested menu. So hold on one sec. I had to take a sip of coffee. <laughs> so what we want to do here is, is do something that's called a nested menu. So if I left this as is on my navigation, you can see here that it looks kind of sloppy. And if I go to my online store, again, this is a sample store. All right, never mind. This is okay. Never mind. Okay, I'm confusing you. So we're going to skip what I just showed you because um, it's pulling up a different theme. Because my store isn't published and because I haven't assigned this menu to my online store, it's showing you like the automated menu. So what we want to do here is we want to create what's called a nested menu. So you want to take your collections that you've just created here and you want to like hover and move it around. So see how it went from having four different items to now underneath shop all is biodegradable poop bags. Then we want to move that under this one. Then we want to move that one under this one. It didn't move. Let me see. Sometimes you have to kind of play around with it a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now we have actually no now it's even nested again under biodegradable so that's not what i want so make sure the three things are under shop but you can see here that if i wanted to i could do another nested menu under the compostable one so i could drag it over and now it shows up under compostable poop bags which is really cool so you can drill down into things so again if you're a jewelry brand you could have something like shop all then you could have necklaces as a menu option. Then underneath shop all, you could have bracelets. And then under shop all, you could have rings. But then within necklaces, you could have another nested menu underneath, like I just showed you here. And it could say something like the different types of necklaces. So make it super easy for people to find things. That's the importance of menus when you're creating your online store. And then I'm gonna show you how to assign this fun menu to your theme. So let me just pull it up. All right, so I'm gonna go into my online store and then I'm gonna click on theme. So right now I'm just playing around with some themes because again, I am actually building out an online store for my new dog poop bag business. <laughs> so, and if you can see the logo here, that is the actual name. It's gonna be called Amuse Joy Poo Bags. They're gonna be really fun, earth-friendly, fun, funnest poop bag brand you'll ever see. Okay. So we go over here and this is our current theme. And so whatever theme you're going to be using, you can do the same thing. So I'm going to click customize. I'm going to click on the header where you can see where the menu and navigation items are. I'm going to go over to menu and I'm going to click change. See how right now it just says menu. That's like the default menu that the store builds for you, but I want to change it to that 2024 menu. Click change menu, 2024 menu, click select, click save. And you can also do different menu types here. So I'm not going to go into this too much, but you can see there's a drop down. You can see there's a mega menu, which is super fun. And you can see there's a drawer. So again, I'm just going to stick with what they have here, but if we can preview, why can't I preview it? Usually there's a thing that, oh, view, okay. I totally missed it. So this is like a preview of the theme. So if you click down, you can see that this is what's called a nested menu. So like I said, um, Right now, I put everything under compostable poop bags, but <clears throat> if I just kept it under shop, it would have these three categories. So that's what a nested menu is. And it's really, really ridiculously important for user navigation to make it easy for people to find the products that you need, not to use cutesy language. And it's also really important because it tells a search engine what you sell. So I cannot stress enough have a really robust menu and navigation. So for example, if I was going to have other things on here, I would put things like um, 
you know, if you have a small few categories, like you sell a couple of products or a couple of collections, you can even put them like listed out here. So technically for this business, I'm starting the business off only selling one type of poop bag. And I probably will have a poop bag holder and a poop bag dispenser. So I could easily, instead of having a drop down, I could put compostable dog poop bags. Again, we're, we're spelling it out. We're telling the search engine what we sell. Then I could have an item that says dog poop bag holders. And, or I could put like dog poop bag accessories. Um, and I could have a drop down nested menu that says dog poop bag dispensers and dog poop bag used poop bag holders or something. And then I would have a but a menu item that would say something like about, and that would be about the shop, about the founder, blog. And then if there's another item that I have here, like let's say, for example, we're going to be donating money, a portion of sales to a rescue or a charity. I'm going to put the word like impact, our impact or something, which we are going to do. So that would be how I would organize this. And again, make it clear. You walk into a Target, you know exactly where to find things. That is how your menu has to be here as well. So I'll go back and actually add some of those just to give you a visual. So we're going to go back to navigation. We're going to click on 2024 menu. And so I'm actually going to put it the right way this time. And if I want to get even more specific, I could literally put, um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So we have our poop bag items here. And I'm going to put about us and just pretend that we have a page for that. So we don't have a page for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a collection. Again, it's just to give you an example. Then I'm going to put something that says our impact. Again, I don't have an impact page, so I'm putting that as an example. And then I would put blog. Um, blog. We don't have a blog yet, but we'll just put that and see if what that is. Okay, cool. So this is like a realistic menu for a store. So now I'm going to go back to themes, make sure that we're still using the 2024 theme. Um, okay, I don't know why. Maybe it didn't save. Hold on. We're going to go back to navigation. Okay. I don't know why it's not showing you. Let me see. Okay, there it is. So we have shop all, we have about us. I spelled it incorrectly. <laughs> we have our impact and we have blog. So with navigations, you know, you want your menu to be, you don't want a million things here. What are the most important things that you want people to click on in your store? So again, with this business, I could expand the poop bags a little bit more. I could have compostable poop bags poop bag um, accessories, and then I could have about us, our impact and blog. And then these things are always obviously essential as well. So that is how you build out your navigation and menu. That is how you create collections. And that is how you add products to collections manually or through tagging system. So be sure to um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to tap that subscribe button. And if you look in the notes below, I have a couple of resources on Shopify, starting your Shopify store. And I have a really awesome little mini course for $57 that helps you create and launch your online store. It's gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to create your website. And it's going to walk you through step-by-step step how to create the back end of your store. So all the things that you might be confused on how to do, basically all these things within your settings down here is going to walk you through step-by-step. Step. So it is a no-brainer. It's an awesome little course. And you can grab that for 57 bucks. So you don't have to spend a million dollars on a designer. All right, my friends, stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you next week.